Support this podcast via our Patreon and get more writerly goodness. Visit patreon.com slash nanocast to join up. Welcome to NaNoWriMo Every Month. My name is J. Daniel Sawyer. I'm the author of some 20 books, 34 short stories, and numerous articles and other things, and I am your guide on this journey to use NaNoWriMo to level up to professional output levels. Welcome to The Questions, Episode 81. Today, J.R. asks, Thoughts on attending conventions for professional gains? Are they merely for fans, or can we make them a work-related learning experience? Well, JR, this depends on the convention, but there's a few things you can get out of them as a professional. First of all, if you're an early-stage professional, there are frequently some good panels on esoteric aspects of craft, world-building, characterization, research, stuff like that, that can be useful to attend. As you start to grow a fan base, they can be a good place to see and be seen as a sort of marketing thing to keep in touch with your fans. And finally, as a networking experience. Writing is a lonely business, and you can get involved in some really fun, interesting projects when you're friends with other writers. And it can be particularly useful because you can cross-fertilize your audiences by working on projects together or doing anthologies with other writers that you know and have met at conventions and stuff like that. As much of the world has gone online, FaceTime is less necessary for doing business than it used to be, but it still really helps bump you to the top of people's mental cues because... Human beings are relational creatures, and we are biased towards doing business and embarking on adventures with people we know from other contexts. There will be other opportunities that come and go with conventions over the course of your professional life, both as the market changes and as your fan base and your business change. Sometimes they won't be worth the time and expense, especially if you have to travel a long time to get to them. Sometimes they really will be. The one place where they're not going to be worth a lot to you, at least not if you're looking at it through the lens of cost-benefit analysis, is doing it as a book tour, where you know, you're going just for the signing. Book tours generally are losers financially, even for big-name authors. They don't really do a whole lot. Taking an hour out here or there to do a signing incidental with things that you're already doing There's no harm in that, and that can help. But actually planning things around events like that, that's a time and money sink, and that's time and money you usually won't get back. It's always good to be seen by fans, to be relatable if you've got the kind of personality that sustains that. But it's typical at any signing event, even for a big-name author, to have three, 400 people show up and then 50 books sell. And if you're getting a couple of bucks for each of those books, you're really not making a good return on your investment of time or energy. However, as a public relations move, they can be wonderful, but in terms of being smart about business, you want to plan them as incidental to other activities that are also going to help you, or other activities that you would be doing anyway, and so you're not really taking a lot of time or money out of your life to pull them off. I suppose I should also mention that I did a rather infamous blog post on the topic of what good are conventions, and it applies to early and mid-stage pros about what you can expect at conventions and what they can do for you, the good and the bad. And I'll link to that in the show notes on this post, because it's a bit of a fun read, and it's getting traffic years and years after I read it, and it's still completely applicable as far as I can see. So, thanks for the question, and I'll see you tomorrow. NaNoWriMo Every Month is written and presented by J. Daniel Sawyer and produced by Artistic Whispers Productions. Visit our website at NaNoWriMoEveryMonth.com and leave a tip in the tip jar or join the Patreon to support this podcast. NaNoWriMo Every Month is copyright 2016 by J. Daniel Sawyer and Artistic Whispers Productions and is released under a Creative Commons non-commercial attribution no derivatives license.